Hello, I am delighted, and I really mean that, delighted to welcome Omar. Thank you, Omar joined us in 2013, I think it was, wasn't it? Yes. And one of our very first students that was doing the stitching course. We didn't have, we didn't even have patterns then. And you had Layla, the yeah. one and only Layla. Exactly. <laughs> so Omar, you have had the most amazing journey since 2013. So in your words, please explain what, what have you been doing? How has your career blossomed? Inspire people. Well, thank you very much, Jenny, for inviting me here and uh, giving you a chance to yeah, share. very it. welcome. Uh, I think, well, uh, I was just telling one of your members of staff that uh, when I came here, I did learn stitching, but apart from that, what I did observe and learn on the back of my mind is perseverance. Yeah. The way, the way you are managing this place, the way, I mean, if you are flying high, you are still keeping eye on the people, on the, uh, like the budding designers, so yes. that was a big thing. Yeah. If, uh, most of us designers doesn't have a annual turnaround, but this factory was having for a week at that time. And you were still looking into the details of those designers, which was a big kind of a moral support to us that this is something we can do if she is doing and there's a support and the mentoring. Yeah. And the very small details which could have made us big losses, but you saved us by giving a small, small, even how to put your address on an envelope. Yes, yes, I remember things. that. Yes, yeah. So, and we still follow those and those things just help how to buy fabric, how much quantity to keep in stock, not too much. And yeah, everything. keep it tight. Yeah. yeah so I think very early on I was a big advocate of doing rolling ranges you know you do not have to make 20 new garments season after season after season because it's just so expensive and then to hold 300 units of stock those days have gone really you know you have to keep it really lean but you were always a very exemplary student you know you, you were always there first thing in the morning and you were there last thing at night and I knew you were like a sponge you know you just wanted to learn as much as you can so you know credit to you but um, tell us about your latest collection and you know and all the works that you've been doing with other countries as well. Okay, so that was a kind of a very uh, new experience for me also. I, I wasn't uh, much aware that I got to go through this route. So I went to the World Travel Market, which is a travel fair happens in Excel every year in November. Over there, I came across the, most of the uh, representatives of the tourism industries of different countries. I explained them what I do. They listen to me, and some of them offer me why don't I bring the British produce fashion to their country and yeah. it's there. Fantastic. And then they invited us and uh, they provided all the facilities, tickets, and shows, everything. Which and which is expensive, isn't it? So if you were invited as their guest, that's a real honor. It is indeed. So in, uh, the whole experience was more than uh, tourism, it was more about to do a cultural exchange that this is what London and UK is producing and this is what they are producing. And then the current collection is a kind of a merge. So I went to Uzbekistan three times now, showcase my collections and then they asked me if I can use some of their fabrics. Oh, into, the, into your own collections. Yeah. Fantastic. So, uh, yeah. uh, the current collection which I did is made of sustainable silk. Yes. Silks. Yeah, I saw that. That's brilliant. Thank you. And it's a very challenging to uh, still date to uh, to convince your client that what sustainable is, why they have to buy something which has a bit of recycled fiber in it, yeah. why they think a higher price for piece silk and what's the difference between sustainable source and uh, non sustainable. So that's a kind of a challenge which I've been facing. But mm. uh, the more I'm telling my customer, the more they're getting convinced. And, uh, the base is in increasing over the years. Yeah. So yeah, the challenges are uh, at the moment. I want to do more of a ready to wear. Well, make sure you go into the Font Hill shop that we've got. So we've got um, a fashion circular economy with Islington Council, and we've got a shop for 113 to 115 Font Hill fashions. Yeah. So you can host an event there. Now you could do yeah, you can do that and and be part of the community there. Mm -hmm. You're local after all. So. Yeah, there is always an opportunity out there. That's good to know that. <laughs> and, and I just think that you're an inspiration to other people. And I do mean that. You know, we've kept in touch a long time now. And I will only wish you the very best for the future. Thank you. And I know you'll do it. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yes,